Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare ancient Roman Puls Fabacia, a religious offering for the goddess Karna, following Macrobius and Ovid's descriptions and the recipe by Cato. We start with ingredients. We need cured pork jowl, spelt and fava beans. We used pork jowl instead of lardum or laridum, which is cured pork fatback. We coarsely crush the spelt and cook it in water with two pinches of salt. Then, after about 40 minutes, when it is cooked through, we add milk a bit at a time and cook for another 20 minutes. Karna, in Ovid's Fasti, derives from the fusion of two goddesses, Karna, which means flesh, and Krane, who is the goddess of the Inges, and has the power to open what is closed and to close what is open, thanks to the god Janus, who gave her a twig of Othorn, to keep away the malignant influences from the doors. In the myth, Crane protects the babies in their cribs against the malevolent Striges, offering them a blood sacrifice, heart in exchange for heart, flesh in exchange for flesh. Ovid writes that she is very ancient and wants to taste ancient foods, such as spelt, fava beans and lardum, related to the early days of Roman agriculture in which the earth produced just spelt and fava beans. Back then, during the festivities, people banqueted with pork and not with the decadent refined meals typical of Ovid's time. It is interesting to notice that this archaic cult is, however, perceived as more recent than the cult of Cibele, to whom Romans offered wild herbs, since this goddess predates the beginning of agriculture. It is unclear how the fava beans, lardum and the spelt must be cooked. It is possible that the puls fabacia was prepared by mashing together spelt and fava beans. But from Horas and Marshall's poems, it seems that fava beans and lardum were cooked together. So we thought that probably in the offering to Karna, the spelt was prepared on its own. We crush the spelt in the mortar, one of the typical methods to prepare this cereal, and added milk as in the recipe for a wheat pulse described in Catos de Agricultura. But milk is optional, since it isn't mentioned by Ovid and Macrobius. We render the pork jowl, then add the fava beans and cook with a bit of water until the fava beans are tender. Fava beans and lardum is a typical countryside dish that we also find in poems by Horace and Marshall, absent in high-end cooking. Lardum, as the favorite cooking fat for courtly cuisine instead of olive oil, is typical of the Middle Ages, and Antimus, in the 6th century, writes that it was a characteristic of the diet of the Franks. Lardum, indeed, is used just in one recipe of the Recuquinaria, and was part of the rations distributed to the legionaries, as we analyzed in a past video. You find the link in the description below. If you're interested in ancient food, check out our book, Ancient Roman Cooking, and our Patreon page, in which you find the translation of the first seven books of the Recuquinaria, in addition to several other sources and articles on ancient and medieval food. To know more about legumes and vegetables in the history of Italian cooking, we recommend our new book, Early Italian Recipes, Vegetables, Fruit, Herbs and Flowers. For the passage between ancient and medieval cuisine, read the Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks. Whereas if you want to know more about late medieval food, 
check out the register on Kukwine, I'm a Divar Cookbook. All the books are available on Amazon, in English and Italian. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This dish was incredibly tasty, very simple, but one of the best things we ever tried. Cured pork jowl, one chale in Italian, is absolutely perfect with the aroma of the fresh fava beans and the sweetness of a spelt pulse cooked with milk. A dish that deserves to be rediscovered, to experience how our ancestors actually prepared their simplest meals. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.